Sun Power Maxion, REC Alpha Pure R. Which is the best premium solar panel in 2023? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 10 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find expert reviews of solar panels, batteries, inverters, and pretty much anything that makes up a home renewable energy ecosystem. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the SunPower Maxion solar panels and the REC Alpha Pure R solar panels, both of which are the top brands of premium solar panels in 2023. And so if you're a homeowner and maybe you're in the process of looking at solar panel options and you've gotten quotes, chances are if you've requested a quote for a premium solar panel option, you've been quoted one of these two options here. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive and a comparative analysis of the Maxion and the Alpha Pure R to see which one might be the best premium choice for you. Now, we're going to be doing the evaluation in five categories. Each category has a maximum of five points for a maximum total score of 25 points. Now, those categories are module efficiency, temperature coefficient, the warranty of the product, of course, the cost to have the product installed, and then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way that I can award additional points to one of the two products where there might not be a direct apples to apples comparison, but where it could have a major impact for you as a potential system owner. And with that, let's get into the comparison. Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting, how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website, or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information, or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. All right, coming up first is the Maxion 3 420 watt all black solar panel. Now you'll notice that the branding here says Maxion, it no longer says SunPower Maxion. And of course, the company recently went through a restructuring where SunPower decoupled from Maxion. SunPower essentially uh, split off as a separate sales and installation company where Maxion retained the solar panel manufacturing business. So this is technically a Maxion product that you'll most likely see being sold and being installed by SunPower. Now, in terms of module efficiency, the Maxion 420 comes in at 22.2% module efficiency, which is just about the best in the industry. Uh, and of course, if you've been following this product line for a while, you know that one of the things that Maxion and SunPower are known for is having the most efficient solar cells in the industry. So no surprise here. Now, in terms of temperature coefficient, the Maxion 420 comes in at minus 0.27% power per degree Celsius over the ideal temperature. Now that might be sound like quite a mouthful, but basically what that means is that for each degree Celsius above the ideal temperature, the solar panel is going to lose 0.27% efficiency versus ideal power rating. And so again, all solar panels have what's called a temperature coefficient and it's a certain percentage of the power or of the voltage that they lose for each degree Celsius above the ideal temperature. So a lower temperature coefficient means a panel that's going to operate better in extreme heat conditions. So with 0.27% per degree Celsius, Maxion is right near the top of the pack 
in terms of temperature coefficient. Now, in terms of the warranty, the Maxion 420 offers a 40-year warranty, an industry-leading 40-year warranty with guaranteed degradation of maximum 0.25% per year. Now again, all solar panels have a certain degradation rate, meaning that over time, as the solar panels age, the panels are gonna lose a certain percentage of their efficiency over time. And where a standard solar panel could lose up to half a percent per year of its performance, a premium solar panel like the Maxion 420 is only gonna lose a quarter of a percent per year. And of course, Maxion guarantees that for out to 40 years. Now, in terms of the cost of the product, and this is probably the Achilles heel of, of SunPower and Maxion, um, this is going to be the most expensive product that you find offered out there. I mean, there are maybe some competing quotes that are just grossly overpriced and might come in at a higher price. But generally, if you're doing a cost comparison of different solar panel options and you've got multiple competitive quotes, generally it's going to be the SunPower and the Maxion option that is gonna be your most expensive quote uh, on a price per watt basis. And finally, in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna award the Maxion 420 plus two X Factor points. I mean, after all, Maxion does have the best solar cells, the most efficient and the most durable solar cells in the industry. Uh, in fact, one of, the, one of the things that used to train their salespeople back in the day was they would send them out with a, a, a packet of standard solar cells and they would demonstrate for the homeowner how brittle, how fragile a standard solar cell is compared to a Maxion cell, which has a, a copper backing, it's reinforced, and literally you can bend it and twist it different ways and the cell will remain functional, will remain intact. So if you're looking for the absolute best, most durable solar cell, Maxion has it, of course, you better be willing to pay for it. And with that, now let's take a look at the Alpha Pure R. All right, next up we have the REC Alpha Pure R 420 watt all black premium panel. Now, in terms of module efficiency, the REC Alpha Pure R 420 offers a 21.8% module efficiency. Now, when we talk about module efficiency, what we mean is what percentage of sunlight that actually hits the solar panel surface what percentage of that is actually absorbed, captured, and converted into usable electricity versus what just gets reflected away or what get, gets lost as heat. And so, believe it or not, 21-22% module efficiency is considered a high efficiency panel. Although in the future, we may see solar modules that are in the 40-50% to 50 range offering much, much higher power density than what's available today. But at 21.8% module efficiency, it puts REC right at the top or right near the top of the pack in terms of module efficiency. And by the way, guys, the reason it's important to look at module efficiency is because if you simply look at the top line power rating, that does not really give you an indication of the, the efficiency or the, the power density of the module. You know, again, that's one thing that we've seen over the past couple of years is the different manufacturers are competing to get the highest output watts per solar panel. But in order to do that, they're experimenting with all these different shapes and sizes uh, of the solar panel. So, so the, this is not a one for one comparison. Uh, the two modules that we're comparing in this video, the REC Alpha Pure R and the Maxion 420, they have different physical dimensions. But when you look at the module efficiency, that's a way that you can easily compare apples to apples is how efficient is the solar cells being used in that panel? How efficient are they at converting sunlight into electricity? Now, in terms of temperature coefficient, the REC Alpha Pure R offers 0.24% per degree Celsius temperature coefficient. That is the best number I've ever seen in this category. And again, what that means is that when this solar module has to operate at extreme high temperatures, you're going to lose less efficiency because of the, the inefficiency of operating at extreme temps. In other words, you're going to get more total energy out of the solar panel, even if you live in an extremely hot climate. Now, in terms of cost of the product, again, the REC panel is a premium panel. And if you're comparing this side by side with other standard solar panels, you can plan to pay anywhere between 25 cents a watt, maybe up to 45 cents a watt higher price when compared to a standard solar panel. Although I will tell you from the research and, and what I've seen in the marketplace, that's still considerably less than 
what you would pay for a comparable SunPower Maxion 420 watt panel. Now in terms of the warranty, REC offers the 25 year ProTrust warranty and similar to SunPower Maxion, the REC panel guarantees maximum degradation of 0.25% per year. So again, much slower degradation rate than a standard solar panel means more total energy harvested over the lifetime of the system, which means more payback for you as a potential system owner. Now, in terms of uh, X Factor, I'm gonna give the REC Alpha plus two X Factor points, uh, and it mainly has to do with interoperability. Now, as you probably noticed, if you've been shopping for different solar solutions out there, if you go with a SunPower, uh, a SunPower package or a SunPower system, you're generally going to be locked into all SunPower components, whether it be you know, the Maxion panels, the SunPower monitoring software, whatever inverter or battery they offer, but it would be all under the SunPower package. That's typically what I've seen. Whereas with an REC Alpha Pure R panel, you can pair this with other best of breed components. So for example, let's say you'd like to use a Solar Edge optimizer system, or maybe you like the Enphase IQ8 micro inverter system, you can pair either of those with the REC Alpha Pure R. And then same thing on the battery side. If you'd like to pair this maybe with a Tesla Powerwall or a Franklin Whole Home battery, uh, or maybe an Enphase IQ battery, um, you can do that with the REC Alpha Pure R. So I think it gives you that premium performance, but it allows you to still choose best of breed components for each area. So if you want to get the best panel, the best inverter, and the best battery, and put those things together in one system, the REC gives you more flexibility to do that. Okay, so to summarize, the SunPower Maxion 420 offers module efficiency of 22.2%, a temperature coefficient of minus 0.27% per degree Celsius above the ideal, a 40 year warranty at 0.25% maximum degradation of 0.25% per year. Uh, it is pretty much the highest cost solution out there with plus two X factor points. On the other hand, the REC Alpha Pure R offers 21.8% module efficiency. So slightly lower module efficiency in terms of the, the, the space, the power density. Um, market leading 0.24% per degree Celsius temperature coefficient. Uh, of course, the REC Pro Trust warranty, 25 years with maximum 0.25% per year degradation. Um, a slightly more competitive price point. Again, figure on 25 cents to 45 cents per watt above what you'd pay for a standard solar panel option. And then plus two X factor points, mainly for the design flexibility of what REC offers, being able to pair your preferred solar panel with your preferred inverter, battery, and monitoring without being locked into one platform. So if we total it up, I'm gonna give Maxion five out of five for module efficiency, four out of five for temperature coefficient, five out of five for the warranty, three out of five for cost, plus two X factor points for a total of 19 points. On the REC Alpha Pure R, we're looking at four out of five for module efficiency, five out of five for temperature coefficient. Again, best co temperature coefficient I've ever seen on a solar module. Four out of five for the warranty, because it is a 25 year versus the 40 year that Maxion's offering. Five out of five on cost. It is the most competitive for a premium solar panel option, most cost competitive product, and plus two X factor points for that design flexibility and interoperability for a total score of 20 points. So if I had to choose one of these two solar panels, all things being equal, I'm probably gonna go with the REC Alpha Pure R420. Um, however, like with most of these comparisons, it really does depend on your unique situation. Um, if you're the kind of person that just wants the best and they want the best solar panel, and the cost is really not much of an issue for you, then maybe you wanna go ahead with a Maxion system, pay the slightly higher premium, Again, the system is gonna produce much more uh, total energy over the lifetime of the system than what a standard solar panel will. So you will recoup some of that premium um, with the production over the lifetime of the system. Um, on the other hand, if you'd like to be able to have more control over the design and being able to pick best of breed components for each part of the system, then in that case, I definitely would favor the REC Alpha Pure R because then you're free to choose whichever inverter and whichever battery you wanna pair that with to build the system that you ultimately want. 
Well, folks, this has been a brief comparison of the SunPower Maxion 420 and the REC Alpha Pure R 420, looking at top premium solar panels for 2023. Um, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar panel options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for one of these options maybe, or for any of the leading options, you know, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Now you can set up a quick Zoom call with me or with one of our team members here and we'd be happy to talk through some different uh, options and provide some pricing for you. Now, of course, if you're getting good value from these videos that we put on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. If you haven't done so already, you know, we're trying to get two to three videos like this out for you every week to make sure that you can stay up to date with all the latest product information. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.